this council is not a council. In fact, that is deception. If I'm not mistaken, under the statutes of fraud, that's actually a criminal event. You're a corporation. You're a registered corporation just like UK government, just like parliament. They have no authority over the public. They're the same as Tesco, the same as McDonald's. So when this body asks people to pay council tax, they have zero authority whatsoever, yet they harass people, demand that money, and that money goes to where? A central fund, the consolidated fund. That money after it's gone into the consolidated fund does what? It buys weapons, it genocide. After you closed him down on the basis of, of, uh, of his original comments, which, were, which in retrospect were all perfectly reasonable and correct, he then, he then decided, well, I'm going to have to give you a quick history lesson. Well, let me move on to history then. Let's take a look at a little history. Let's uh, start with the Magna Carta that was brought about because of dissatisfaction amongst the public. About 400 years later, we had it again, the Glorious Revolution. We moved into the Bill of Rights there. I'm sorry, I, I can't see what, what you're saying now relates to the three minutes that you have to get your point across. Oh, it's all part of the same concerns. In the Bill of Rights, it says that uh, no fines or forfeiture can be uh, uh, burdened on, on the public. It is current legislation. It also says in there that under the supremacy clause, not to defer uh, authority to any foreign body. We've done that. If you're not, if you don't know. No. I'm sorry, I'm being advised that what you're saying is vexatious and I'd ask, I'd like to ask you to leave the building, please. History, is that your problem? It's in the history books. I mean, then she shut him down on the basis that she didn't understand what point he was trying to make. Well, we, I work in on the basis that you allow someone to speak to their point before trying to understand what point is they're trying to make without allowing them to finish having made it. I mean, call me crazy. Vexatious means um annoying okay it right, might well, well have annoyed them but it doesn't mean to say he was wrong or should have been shut absolutely, down absolutely and and so now now we now we converse with one another on the basis of what annoyance i mean this is not really how i believe adults communicate with one another um i may you may not like what it is i'm saying and if i'm factually incorrect then please come and put me right but to shut me down 